Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So, I'm feeling a colour today. I am feeling this kind of colour. A lilac lavender kind of look. I don't really know the difference between lilac and lavender. But we're going to do something anyway. I want it to be soft. I want it to be a bit more blown out. Kind of like if you remember back if you've seen the other ones. If not there's a playlist of them. Or my other colours in the colour series like the orange one. Really big and blown out. And I might stick a few rhinestones or something like that on as well. I have a mix of brands, colours. It's going to be a simple enough look. It's mostly just going to be big and blended. And then the overall look will kind of be really cohesive together. That's the plan. I hope so. I don't know. We're going to have to see how it turns out. I look really pale by the way. I'm just looking at myself in the viewfinder very pale. So let me pop my hair back. Let me start my face. So I have zoomed you guys in as well. Um, just so you can see a little bit better. Anything on my skin at the minute and brows and eyeshadow primer is all listed down below. So you can go check that out there to see what I use. I'm actually using a new foundation today. It is the NYX Born to Glow foundation. And I am loving how it looks on the skin right now. So to start us off, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Neon Pink Obsessions palette. It's the little nine pans of the curated colour stories that they do. I'm going to take this purple down here, this matte purple. And this is just a giant fluffy blending brush from V Cosmetics. There's no name on it. It's just from V Cosmetics. I got it in a mystery box. So big and fluffy. And we're going to start with that shade. I love this colour so much. I'm going to start with this all through the crease big and blown out all the way up to the eyebrow if you want which I probably will do just get it through the crease I'm gonna bring it right up under the brow as well because when I stick the rhinestones on they're gonna be kind of scattered all around the eye and I want there to be a haze of purple around the whole eye and what I'm doing as well here I've just decided to kind of do this is take a little bit down around the inner corner of that same purple just tiny little bits at a time just to again give it a nice haze of purple in there. I'm going to start the lower lash line as well. I'm going to take the same shade again on the same big fluffy brush. Because like I said I want this to be very blown out. You can use a smaller brush, a little pencil brush, whatever brush you want to use. But I want this to be blown out. And I'm only taking the colour on one side of the brush. And kind of placing it up a little bit higher. As close as you can get to your lashes. Just give a bit of control. Even with the bigger brush. And we're just going to fluff that around. But like I said, I want it to be big. If you've seen my orange look, it's a big one. It goes really far down. Maybe I won't bring it down that far, but I want it to be big enough. And I'm bringing that right in as well to meet up with that inner corner. Okay, we're not done with that palette. We will come back to that for a shimmer or two. I'm going to go into this shade from Inglot. This is number 71. It's like a sequin shadow, so it's got a matte base with a sparkle running through it. Sometimes the sparkle sticks, sometimes it doesn't. It's just up to yourself. I kind of use them as mattes anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to take a smaller version of that other brush that we used from that V Cosmetics set. Now, I don't want this colour to be too prominent. I just want it to give depth to the look we have going on already. So, we're going to go in to the outer corner. You can see like it deepens. But as I blend it out, it'll just look like a shadow mostly a shadow of the color that i al already put down bring that right through the crease i want this to be quite rounded all the way into the inner corner i want to kind of emphasize the socket if that makes any sense like show where my socket is on my eye then i'm taking the same brush and we're going to work that along the lower lash line really close to the lashes as well don't bring it down as far as the first color you used you can see we're getting that real nice bit of dimension make sure you connect out here as well so probably blending this colour down further than a lot of people would do. <laughs> then going back in with the first brush, but whatever is left on it, the first lilac shade. And then just use that to soften out any harshness. Don't mind it being a bit messy, that doesn't bother me. Same underneath, blend that all out. You can add more, which I might do. Because you might think this looks dark compared to like how you might imagine it to look, which would be more like this. But I still want dimension on the eye. Now when I put in like the, like the black and like black liner and the diamonds and the shimmers and all that kind of stuff, it'll lift up a little bit more. Alrighty, so I have two shimmers that I'm going to kind of layer up a little bit, but before that I want to pop on my NYX glitter primer like normal, and I'm taking that just on a flat brush, this is a 239 from MAC, just taking a little bit on the actual brush, pop that on, all over where we haven't applied anything, not doing cut crease or anything like that, because again I want this to be all super soft and blown out and very simple to do, even though there's a lot going on. It's going to be simple. So now I'm going to go back into that neon pink obsessions palette. We're going to go into the very middle shade, which is kind of like a pinky, purpley, violet, shifty sort of color. 
it may look quite pink on the lid which is why i have another shimmer that i'm possibly going to pop on yeah even on the brush it looks very pink so we're going to just pop it on and we'll go from there such a pretty color though just press that over the entire part where we popped on our glitter primer okay and then just over top of it i have this guy here this is a whole new world super shock shadow from ColourPop. it looks very blue on camera but it's more of like a lavendery periwinkle kind of shade i'm just going to take a dabble of that on my finger just to knock the pink back a smidgy just a small little bit you'll also add an extra little layer of sparkle you're still getting that cool duochrome shift but it's just not with pink it's more like this color and the more violet -y shade i'm not entirely sure if i'm going to do a black liner now i don't don't know if i want to do it anymore i'm gonna to have to see how everything looks towards the end so now what we're going to do is a little bit of glitter so for my glitter i have the ingla body sparkles in the xl7 so they're a little bit of a thicker glitter now they're really fine still but not as fine as their other glitters that they do but it look white reflects purple so i think that will be fun I, you're probably not really going to be able to see that too much there but it'll be fun to use i think it'll go nicely with the color scheme we have going on because it's all purple so what way do i want to do this i already have my little bit of purple in here which i'm kind of glad i did that purple on the inner corner because now it has a background for this it's not just going to look bare and sparkly it's going to actually have a bit of color as well i think just because it's a bit of a thicker glitter i'm going to go back in my glitter primer and we're going to take that on a small little brush just whatever brush you want to use your finger would do as well the teeny meaniest little bit nothing nothing crazy i'm just going to take that and just tap that on the inner corner and just pat it out so you have no harsh edges okay and then with the same brush because it's a little bit tacky with the glitter primer on we're going to pick up a little bit of that oh so pretty i never really use this color because i never have a reason to just pop that on the inner corner i don't know if you can see how pretty and purple it is hopefully it comes up in the pictures it's hard to photograph glitter but i'm just pressing it on and patting it out so we get it to just diffuse Oh yeah, that's pretty. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is do my liner and my waterline. I can always do liner after mascara. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is pop liner and my waterline first. I'm gonna use Piggy Bank from ColourPop. It's one of their cream gel liners. It's just a purple, it's a deeper kind of purple. So it'll just give me a bit of definition in the waterline. I don't really have a lilac color of pencil that I could use. Wish I did, but I don't. I'm sure Colourpop do one though, which I would use if I had it, but I don't. Okay, had a thought. I've had a thought. It's t coming up a little bit too plummy for me right now. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of my very, very small milk jumbo pencil. It's just white. I was going to use this under the glitter, but I didn't want, didn't want to in the end. So we're just going to pop a bit of that over top of that liner and just go back and forth between the two until we're happy with the color this will just dilute it down a little bit for me oh perfect that worked out well okay i'm gonna jump off for a second i'm gonna pop some mascara on then we'll see how we're looking yeah i have an idea of the lashes i kind of want but i'll have to i'll have to see how it looks with mascara on and then i can decide okay so i decided against doing any liner up top and just did lashes and i'm very happy i did so because it would have made it like even more dramatic in it in a dark intense way which i don't want i want it to be soft and airy but still have the definition around the eyes which i think is okay so i will stick my rhinestones on in a few minutes but i want to do my skin first in case i end up going crazy with the rhinestone so let's do that first i forgot to mention as well my lashes were the kiss flirty lashes this is my multi-packs my favorite pair of lashes that i own i just thought i'd use the ones that i love so much because it'll just give that nice feathery kind of effect to the eye and i really like it so on to cheeks for contour i'm going to use gotham from nabla it's one of their shade and glow highlight powders yes shade and glow powders not highlight powders this is a contour <laughs> and we're just going to use this this is a body shop brush doesn't have a name or a number on it it's just a big brush we're just going to use that to contour the cheeks i'm not going to go too crazy just enough to give us a bit of shape i'm going to bring it up to the temple as well like i normally do and then in to the sides of my forehead i'm going to take a small little bit down the sides of my nose and under my lip then for blush, the most lilac colours that I have is in my Fetish palette from KVD Beauty. Um, it, I bought it when it was uh, Kat Von D, or I got it for Christmas when it was Kat Von D. But I'm going to take the shade Coven, which is basically a lavender lilac, and I'm going to also use the highlight to match. So Coven on a brush. This is a MAC 424SES. It came out with their Christmas collection, just an angled 
brush and we're just gonna apply that to the cheeks. Purple blush is not gonna be for everyone. It's not always for me either. But this tone of purple I can get away with, especially when I'm doing a whole monochrome look. And then highlight, I'm going to take a 240S brush from MAC as well, 240, whatever way you want to say it. And I'm going to take Telepathy, which is the Preet Bulb here. Just taking a swipe of it because it comes off quite strong. And this is going to be our highlight. Oh yes. It's such a nice... Because when I look this way, there's nothing, there's not even a cast off it. It's just when I turn and catch it. No, it's not for everyone, but I love a coloured highlight. I don't know why. Popping a little bit down my nose as well. Whenever you're doing nose highlight, remember you don't need as much on your brush like a dab or even just what's left on the brush is usually enough. Okay, so for my diamonds, rhinestones, whatever you want to call them, I have an assortment of kind of things and sizes and different tones of things as well. So what I have, I got a lot of these just in a craft store, art and hobby shop here in Ireland, Eason's, that kind of thing. You can order them online if you want to. So I have these ones here, which are like giant and then like slightly bigger, medium and then small. Not the smallest in the world. Like that's probably as the biggest that I want is the smallest of these. And they're a bit dark as well. But if I feel like adding a dark one here and there, I might. Then I've got these ones, which is more the kind of color that I'm looking for. So we'll use a few of these. And again, this is the biggest that I kind of want to go as well. Then I've also got, what have I got? I've got little silvers. If you can see those little silver rhinestones. Then I've got my wheel here, my favourite. I got this in the art and hobby shop. It's just a wheel, all the same size, but different tones of purple. And there's two purples, so there's a deep and a lighter one. So I'll probably mostly use like the lighter purples out of this. One or two big ones off this. Silver. Oh, and then I've also got these ones, which actually are a bit more iridescent. So there's like black, silver, and then in the middle here, they're like those ones that reflect like different colors they have a bit more of like a crystally kind of look so yeah I'm gonna kind of do something with it I don't really know so I'm not gonna show you what I'm doing because it's gonna take too long because it'll take forever for me to put these on but I'm gonna come back and I'll show you what I did guys a look look at it it actually turned out way better than I thought it was going to oh my god so I stuck some of the bigger purple ones I stuck two and I kind of tried to match them if I could on both sides I was gonna go asymmetrical but then I started just sticking them on one at a time so it went the same and then I went in with my little wheel of colors and I used the lighter ones the lighter purple ones as the most prominent ones and then the little opaly iridescent ones that I have here I use like three of them in each eye just to give it a little extra colour sparkle like a little fleck that jumps out at you every now and again. I also started my lip forgetting that my camera wasn't on so we're going to do that now. The only thing I put on was my lip pencil. I used a plum lip liner from MAC. It's not purple and that's not why I use it. Just to give some sort of definition because the lipsticks that we're going to go for is first up the amp from MAC which I know you can definitely still get and we're going to pop that on all over the lip. Whoa yeah just cover the whole lip pencil in that. Okay, so this is a little bit too deep, but I this is kind of what I knew was going to happen. So I have this one here. It's called Courting Seduction. Look how pale that is. Such a pale colour. I'm going to use this to lighten this colour and pop that all over as well. I'm just going to add this as much as I feel like I want to to get it to the colour that I want. I'm not just going to put a little bit on or a lot on. I'm, I'm going to just see how it is myself. Oh, <gasps> yeah, that's like that right there is the exact colour that I want. Yes, it's not great for the colour of your teeth, huh? Oh, that's fine. So then I'm gonna top it up with this guy here. It's my duochrome duochromatic lip gloss from NYX. It's in the shade Gypsy Dreams. I'm just gonna pop this on top because it's lilac, oh why not? Alrighty guys, so this is how I have finished off my look. I love how this came out. I was unsure when I started doing the diamonds like when I put the bigger ones on, I was like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Maybe should I just do like three or four on the side? Should I do them on my cheek? Should I do them in the inside of my nose? But as I started sticking them on, I was like, oh yeah, I'm feeling this. This is so extra and dramatic and I adore it. So yeah, I love. I'm very happy I didn't do liner either because that means I could do my little diamond out here. I think it's really pretty. I love the lip. I love the cheeks. I love it all. The reason why I did lilac as well as purple, it's the same way I want to do the other ones. It's the weird colours in between. The ones that fall in between that are still different enough from the actual colour to warrant its own look. So when I was doing purple, what I normally do with them is do a face chart. 
and I pull out all my products that have a purple in it and then I whittle it down to kind of what I want to use and the kind of vibe I want the look to be and when I was doing it I was like oh I could do a lilac one or I could do a purple purple like what I did and then I was like why don't I just do both and I do lilac eventually once I've got all those colours done I'll do lilac as well same with lime green I have to do a lime green look not just a standard green look I have to do an olive green look I had to do a teal look because they're colors that really stand out and they're really prominent in a lot of things does that make sense I don't know if that makes sense. that's how my brain works and that's why I'm doing it so yeah plus I also wanted to do like black white silver gold copper burgundy like burgundy I really have to do as well I cannot wait to do that so yeah that's where these extra ones come from and I adore this look. I can't stop looking I'm so sparkly and I really love it and it's not uncomfortable in the slightest I'm in love. If you did like this video, give me a big thumbs up down below. It's the quickest, simplest and easiest way to give me a little bit of love. Get my video around to more people to get more views. And also let me know you like the content that I'm doing and you want to see more. So hit like. Also let me know in the comments what you think of the look. Would you wear the look? Would you wear it without the diamonds? Would you not wear it at all? I don't know. Um, do you love the diamonds? Because I love the diamonds. I would totally wear this out. This is so beyond extra that I adore and I really like it but it's still soft like the actual makeup itself is soft it's just vibrant but it's soft but the I don't know let me know in the comments what your thoughts are and also if there's any other colors you want me to do let me know I'll see if they're already on my list they probably already are because I have a lot <laughs> and hit subscribe down below to see more videos coming up to see more colors coming up all the other weird colors that I have planned out to see my three looks on palettes to see my collection also also before i go my instagram is linked down below to see all the up close pictures of this and how the diamonds actually look and i will be taking up close pictures of my eye and up close pictures of my face and i'm doing my palette swatches on my igtv so yeah i will see you in the next video guys bye